One of the great advantages of Google Chrome is the ability to expand its capabilities with extensions and apps. So today we're going to take a look at how to install Google Chrome extensions and apps. If you're signed into Google Chrome and you click on the Apps button, one of the first icons you will see is for the Web Store. We're going to click on that and that will take us to the store where we can search for extensions and apps. The extension I want to install right now is called Google Training for Apps. So I type that in the search box and hit enter. The search results will be organized by and grouped by apps and extensions. So since I want an extension, I go to the extension section and I see training for Google Apps. So all I need to do is click the blue button add to Google Chrome. I click add extension and after a few seconds you will get a message that it has been added to Chrome. Extensions are shown by icons at the top right corner of your Google Chrome browser. With training for Google Apps installed, you will see a colorful wheel with a question mark in it. And so I'm going to skip this. What this does is it gives you training that is sensitive to what you are trying to do in Google Drive. Since I am actually looking at my Google Drive, all of the selections will be about Google Drive. There is a section about what is new and there are three new videos, activating, opening, and setting expiration dates for sharing. I'm going to collapse this and I'll see the other categories. Introduction to Drive is a great place to start to see short videos about what Google Drive is about. How to work with files, there is one new. There are two new files, video files for sharing and folders, and you can see the rest of the categories. If I switch to Google Slides and look for the uh, training for Google Apps, it will show me only training topics that are about Google Slides. So this is a great tool to use if you want to learn more about one of the main Google Apps. If I go back to the web store, I can search for a Chrome app, which are just shortcuts to websites that are connected to Google in some fashion. I am going to search for the BioDigital Human app. And just like an extension, I click on the blue button to add to Chrome and then I add it and it places a shortcut on my apps page which I can access up here in the top left corner by clicking the apps button. I have one, two, three, four pages of apps that I can browse through to see what I have. I can drag the apps around just like a tablet and I can move it to a position that I prefer. When I click on the icon for the app, it takes me directly to that website where I can log in usually with my Google account information. And that is the advantage of using Google Apps in Chrome.